So let's start with our one light setup as well as our essential women's pose. So the light that I have here is the large umbrella and it has diffusion over it. So it's basically a big soft box. I love this because it is portable and I can pop it up and bring window light with me anywhere that I go. Now, when I'm photographing a fuller figure subject, sometimes if I want a little bit more shadow on the side of their body, this might be a good thing. I don't mean a ton of shadow, but it gives a little more sculpting and your eye is drawn to the lit parts of the photograph. So if somebody is flat lit, you are looking at their body from left to right in completion. But if you add a little bit of sculpting, a little bit of shadow, it actually minimizes the width of what their body looks like. Now, in this case, I have the light off just a little bit to the side for just a tiny bit more drama, um, but you can put the umbrella more centered if you don't like this much shadow. So the large umbrella with diffusion, let's talk about our super basic, super essential pose. What I would like is I'm gonna have you, let me just take a picture. This is how she's standing comfortably. I wanna show you the before shot, pre-posing. Okay. Great. So this is when I asked her to just stand on the background for me, this is how she stood comfortably. Notice all the things in our checklist that we don't want. Uh, when we went back to the essentials of posing, she's flat foot. That doesn't really create a lot of dynamic shape. She also has no negative space. Her hands are close to the, her side, so you can't see the sides of her body. So I, I'm gonna wanna fix these things. So my first pose that I wanna try is, can you do me a favor, turn a little bit to your right, great. And I want you to kick your weight on your back hip. Perfect, and I had not, we've not practiced this. Notice how she even started to bring her knee in a little bit. It's just naturally, that's how it works. And can you actually kind of tuck your foot like that? Good, and bring your knees together. Good, all right, so I turned her to the side. Now with some people, she's fine, but some people, if you turn them completely to the side, you'll see if they have a stomach. So I usually will have people turn to the side, kick their hips back, and then just bring their body a little bit back towards camera, so. Perfect, just a little bit back towards me. Great. All right, so now what I have is I've got negative space. I have a narrowing point. She got narrower at the bottom part of her body here. Great. Um, the next thing that I'll ask a subject to do, can you arch your lower back just a little bit? That's a way that I'm adding curve. So I've added curve here and in her lower back. I've slenderized her. And then also, can you lean your chest towards camera? Great. And turn towards me just a little bit. So now I have curve and whatever's closest to the camera looks larger, which is her face and her chest. So I'm gonna take a picture of that so you can see. Great. And turn your chin towards me just a tiny bit. Right there, beautiful. Let's take a look at that. Looks great. Perfect. Now, when I am photographing a subject that is fuller figure, if I want to use perspective to my advantage, what I can do is I can stand on an apple box because then I can put her face and her chest even closer to the camera and her hips and her waist even further away. And this doesn't have to just be for a fuller figure subject. Really, it's just if you want to exaggerate perspective. So that's why I'm going to do that here. I really, I actually, when I met her, I told her how I thought her eyes were beautiful and I love her smile. So that's a strength to me. So I want to bring that even closer to the camera. And um, I would love a reflector on this side of some sort to soften the shadows just a bit. So same exact pose, perfect, right there. Great, that's a good smile too. Okay, give me one laugh smile, good. Okay, so looking at this photo, looks great. I see her face and her chest look larger. She has curve to her lower back. There's a narrowing point at the bottom of the photo. Now the one tweak I'm going to make to this one light setup is I am going to add a little bit of reflection on the right hand side because the shadows are a little dark and this is a happy picture and she's got a great smile. So just bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to soften the shadows and I'm gonna bring you around this way a little. And so if I move the reflector around to the back, that's more of a rim light. If I move it around to the front a little bit more, it's a tiny bit more fill. Let me just do right there, perfect. Take one more shot. And I see one change I'd make, a little softer with your fingers, a little softer on the waist. Great, perfect. And lean towards me, great. Wonderful, and can you back up like a step or two? Good, I don't want the shadows to go away, great. And one more laugh smile, perfect. Great, so that is lighting setup number one. 
large umbrella with diffusion, and you can use a silver or white reflector in order to soften the shadows a little bit if you want. If you want to reduce the shadows, you can also bring the umbrella around to the front a little bit. There'll be a little less sculpting. And then pose number one, hips away from camera, hand on the hip, chest and waist, uh, chest and face forward, and then if you want to exaggerate perspective, shoot from a slightly higher angle.